During the last ice age, giant frozen glaciers covered much of the northern hemisphere. Since then, temperatures all over the planet have been warming up and most of that ice has melted. The rising of the average temperature on Earth is called global warming. Global warming happens naturally. Throughout its history, Earth has warmed and cooled many times. Usually, Earth warms up during times when the sun is more active. But this time is different. The sun is actually less active than usual, but temperatures on Earth are still rising. In fact, they're rising faster than they ever have before. Scientists are concerned about the increased rate of global warming. As the Earth warms up, ice near the poles is melting. This increases the amount of water in the oceans, which causes sea levels to rise. Global warming also affects the delicate balance of Earth's ecosystems. Animals may migrate to cooler habitats. This could upset the food chain and put other species in danger. Cold weather biomes like the tundra will shrink while deserts expand. Animals unable to adapt to the quickly changing climate may face extinction. Scientists also fear that global warming could lead to extreme weather. Powerful storms, like hurricanes, form over warm seawater. Severe storms, droughts, and flooding could be on the rise. So what is causing this unusual rise in global temperatures? Our atmosphere is the reason Earth is not a frozen ball of ice like Mars. Gases trap heat from the sun inside our atmosphere and keep the planet warm enough for life to survive. These gases are called greenhouse gases because they work just like a greenhouse. Greenhouses trap the sun's heat to keep plants alive even during the winter. The main greenhouse gases are water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane. We need greenhouse gases, but too much of them causes the atmosphere to trap more heat than we actually need. When humans burn fossil fuels, carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. In the last hundred years or so, we've burned more coal, oil, and natural gas than ever before. We use these fossil fuels to run our cars and create electricity that powers our homes. All that extra carbon dioxide in the atmosphere could be speeding up global warming. We can help fight climate change by using less energy from fossil fuels. Simple actions like turning off the lights or taking the bus can have a big impact. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.